Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third live session. Okay, first, just uh, I'll give you guys a couple minutes. So try to find the dominant energy of this chart just for practice. So somebody asked me about this chart and first couple minutes, I couldn't really find what the dominant energy is. And whenever it is difficult to find what is strong element, the chart could be in a balanced side. But we still have to figure out it is strong or weak. Anybody found the dominant energy or weakness? It looks like these there are three earth here. And metal looks a little strong. It is supported by earth and located on the earthly monthly branch. And there are wood and fire here. So where to start? What elements are in my side? Since the daily master is water, water is in my on my side, and the mother of water, the metal, is also on my side. And which elements are in the other side? The other three, wood, fire, and earth. So if my side is relatively stronger than the other side, this chart will be a strong chart. And if the other side is relatively stronger, this chart will be a weak chart. By the way, uh, is sound, is my voice hearable? <laughs> I changed my mic today, so I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so let's look at the branches first, especially from the monthly branch. Uh, there is a yo metal, the rooster, so I will draw this metal about that for start. Oh, it's loud and clear, thank you. Okay. And there's a she earth, a dog, on the yearly branch that supports this metal. Okay. So I'll withdraw this earth a little bit, a little bit smaller. And these two are the part of also the part of seasonal combination of the metal, the metal season. So metal element, I think, is never weak. And there's Maud, the rabbit, and U fire, the horse, and those are positioned together as wood fire yang. Wood is generating fire like that. So maybe I I think it is smaller than metal and earth i'll draw this metal a little bigger so wood fire become like located together so it could be it could be strong but uh, metal also controls this wood right fire can control this metal but always the closer character influence more and if you know about the clash the rooster and rabbit create the clash aspect. But if you don't know about the clash, it, that is just metal controls wood. That's it. Let's look at the water as a daily master. Is water strong or weak? I said the metal is never weak, but the metal is supported by this earth. Not metal itself is really strong, but it is it is strong because of the because of the earth. So how about water? To me, water gets little suppressed by this earth, even though it is supported by the metal, even though it is supported by this metal for sure. But it seems like isolated by these two earth and then wood and fire. And there is one support and four characters that takes the water energy out, either draining or controlling. Water could not could could be not totally drained 
or controlled because of this metal. So I think the water is weaker, maybe weakest. And there are one more water here, the rain water, but it is also controlled by these two earth and supported by this yo metal. So therefore, I think this mother spirit, the metal, takes a huge role in this chart to support the daily master water. Yeah, this is the final image that I create. Metal looks largest and earth looks second largest. Wood and fire smaller than these metal and earth. And those are, to me, almost similar or wood can be a little bit smaller than that. And water is the smallest element. Uh, it is totally in a balanced state. So we, I call it as a balanced chart, but I think it is a little in a weaker side. Because when we divide, when we divide my side and the other side like that, even though metal looks strongest, metal looks the largest, if we combine those two energy as my side, I think the other side energy is bigger than my side. So dominant energy here is not very clear, but if we decide the chart is weak, my side energy could be preferable for this chart. That is the difficulty when we see the balanced chart because the dominant energy is not very clear. And depending on the diun, the dominant energy could be changed. Let's say if, we, if this chart meets, this pie chart is what I calculate a portion of each element the natal chart and if we guess if this chart meets metal dye-in the metal becomes this larger now here to here so now it becomes like strong chart because on my side the metal and w water become larger than the other three dominant energy now could be the metal and then the yongshin the preferable energy could be the wood and fire more than this in energy. Similar to that, when this chart meets the water, now water gets bigger, <laughs> the biggest of all five. Now the dominant energy becomes like water. It is now almost balanced. Yeah, now almost balanced, but still a little bit metal and water is larger, slightly larger. Now I don't know. <laughs> but when this chart meets the wood, like that, now the wood fire becomes really larger and the daily master becomes smaller and metal becomes smaller. So now it is like a weak chart right now. In this case, I think the preferable energy Yongshin could be metal or water to support the daily master. And one more, maybe earth. Yeah, let's finish earth. Yeah, if this chart meets Earth, now Earth become dominant energy. Metal and water could be Yongshin in this time. So this is a good thing and also bad thing for the balanced chart. Good thing is it could have a flexible life with many buffer. It can use like every element depending on the situation. Like sometimes use this element, sometimes use that element to make a balance. And because there is no extreme partiality, the balance chart person doesn't really experience the extreme situation. They could be. And the weakness is, um, it's the same, same thing. The life could be too flexible, like just in the middle, and doesn't earn too much money, doesn't study too much, and just be in a balanced state, be comfortable. It could be a very ideal life for somehow, but it could be not very dynamic. Depending on our perspective, it could be good or bad. But basically, the balanced chart is much better than too weak or too strong. Quick. Do people with balanced charts have more ups and downs from year to year? Okay, good morning from India. Wow. Sometimes if balanced chart is in a weaker side, weaker side, maybe, maybe that person has more up and down, depending on 
depending on the Yongshan changes, like depending on the dominant energy, sometimes um, if it is really weak chart, if, if it is considered as a weak chart, sometimes like this chart, sometimes wood can be a really trouble, fire can be trouble, earth can be trouble, like that. And depending on the situation, sometimes earth and metal can be the dominant energy. So possibly, yeah, but when I um, observe some people with balanced chart, they were kind of not, yeah, not very, not very up and down. To me, they are kind of in the middle. But for themselves, when they feel something, they, they, they can think, yeah, things are kind of extreme, but from my eyes, my, from my perspective, they are kind of in the middle, yeah. But they, they think they, they are kind of in up and down in mood. So I, I don't know, I, I explained that right or not. But anyway, the weaker chart person have more up and down temper and stronger chart makes other people <laughs> more in up and down states, generally saying, yeah.